Hi everyone. So this is it. This is the 2019 Master 3 hatchback 6-speed menu with the premium package with this poly metal gray exterior and red interior. So this will be a quick uh, exterior and interior review. So let's get started. So as you can see this one the hatchback has the black uh, grill over here the sedan will have a silver uh, chrome grill and then all the master 3 will come with standard LED headlights and then this hatchback comes with the 18 inch black alloy wheels um, so all the hatchback will have the 18 inch wheels but only the pim premium trim will come with black wheels uh, the the other trim will have the silver machined finish uh, so this one is uh, it has 215 45 18 tires all season and then as as you can see this one is has a red leather um, and in the back has steel exhaust let's check out the hatchback really quick so this one actually uh, has a little bit less space than the previous generation um, but still I like the versatility of a hatchback so let's close it back and then some people they think the sedan looks a little bit better but I think I like the hatchback a little bit more uh, but again like many people say it has a kind of thick C pillar compared to the last generation and then the tail lamp is also fully LED um, which is pretty nice so let's look at the interior let's look from the driver's side actually so yes yeah, you can see this one has the red interior and then for the seats it has 10-way power adjustable seat for the driver's side as you can see fully leather and this one has the um, well, let's go inside and take a look so this one has the fully leather interior this is real leather you can actually you can only get uh, real leather in the premium trim all the other levels all the other trim level you get thick leather or leather it and the hatchback only comes in three trims so they don't have the base trim on the hatchback so they only have the prefer package i mean the the bottom trim level for the hatchback is select package and then the middle trim is the preferred package and the highest trim level is the premium package the sedan will have the base trim uh, besides those three and the base trim you just you're just gonna get the um, the cloth seats um, but the middle two trim you get the leather red and the premium trim you get leather so for the red interior like this one it only comes with the hatchback so the, the sedan you don't get the red interior um, the other option so for the hatchback you can also pick you can pick between black and red leather I'm not quite sure if you can get the white interior for the hatchback maybe in the lower two trim but the premium I'm not sure but for the sedan you can pick between black and white you cannot get the red one again for the red interior you have to get the hatchback and then for the six speed manual like I said before uh, the man is only available in the premium trim hatchback front wheel drive so I think master is actually going back work in this model year because in the 18s the manuals they come with all trim levels not just uh so in this in this case yeah it's just the top trim hatchback fun wheel drive that's it you cannot get a menu in the sedan and you can got you cannot get a menu in the lower trim of the hatchback only in this particular trim level 
and then next uh so everything here is soft touch basically everything is genuine leather it has stitching over here um so even this part is soft touch which kind of surprised me and then this this part also it's soft touch everything is soft touch this one is the 8.8 .8 inch infotainment screen here of course also soft touch like i said even this part everything is soft touch over here same genuine uh, leather with red stitching over here soft touch over here uh, the mirror is uh, electric of course um, I think the mirror actually uh, turn like like it will adjust uh, itself when you put it in reverse kind of interesting I just found that out and then he said it has integrated uh, turn signal of course and blind spot monitoring for the top three trims um, and then yeah like I said uh, soft touch here soft touch here and then more leather over here soft touch everywhere it's a very very premium car I would say especially on this um, premium trim but actually the select package so the second trim already is fully leather um, the only difference is they have the leather seat instead of real leather um, and then this one, the premium trim, it comes with Bose Audio 12 speakers. Very nice sound. Uh, the Bose Audio comes with the premium and preferred package. So the top two trims, you get it. And then aluminum door handle over here, all the way, it extends all the way over here. Very, very nice, very premium. I would say it's, it looks even more premium than some of the entry-level luxury brands, such as Lexus, BMW, uh, Audi, Mercedes at least i mean to me it looks even better than those entry level so very nice uh master they did a very good job and then these are the window controls so uh very nice black piano trim over here the windows are all automatic up and down for all four windows this is the mirror control door lock events and then here this is the center console is quite large i would say you know it's larger than the previous gen master 3 of course all leather very soft very nice feeling over here i like it a lot and even this part is leather with stitching over here um so everywhere is soft touch where your knees is gonna hit here the previous gen this part is and this part is hard touch plastic um, but yeah, it's softest right now, just like the Master 6. And then here, when you open this, you have two cup holders, more storage over here. You can close this, of course. Here, of course, is the six-speed manual. Very short throw, I would say, compared to my previous Corolla. The Corolla is a very long throw. This is almost Miata-like, because I also, uh, I used to have a... 2016 Miata and this one feels very similar just a little bit longer throws but a very very nice stick shift I would say the clutch is also perfect I would say and the brake and the gas pedal also perfectly placed and then here I believe for the automatic you have a sport button but the manual you don't have that who needs a sport button if you have a manual and then you have the electronic parking brake over here um, when you engage it you just pull it up it engage and then you, when you push it down it releases and then this is the automatic hold function when you are in traffic I believe I haven't used that uh, yet and then this is the new dial the old one also have a dial but it looks different this is nicer um, yeah very very premium looking this is the only car with this only car in this uh, segment who have this kind of control it looks like a BMW a luxury brand but this car is under way under thirty thousand dollars so very nice job master this is your volume knob this is the navigation but navigation you have to get it as a uh, dealer accessory you have to pay a few couple hundred dollars for that back button home button and music button favorite button and then yeah that's all the controls over here and here is your climate control this is your push button start is which is uh, 
uh, available in every other trim is a basic item you have to you don't have to pay extra for that so even the base model will come with uh, push button start and then for the climate control here do some um, automatic climate control and then you have your heated seats over here three level same for the passenger it comes with the top two trim I believe and then your hazard lights over here and then yeah this is just gonna show you the temperature control over here is a small screen over here more events over here um, so this is the general look so far. I like the red interior uh, very much uh, It's the first time Master 3 ever has a red interior uh, I think it's much unique compared to the black one and you don't even have to pay extra for the red interior It's the same price as the black one um, So if you want it definitely get it and then more same same material on this door yeah, as the driver's door this is a more distant look of it very very premium looking you have some storage over here and then um, the door handle is very nice I'm not sure you can see it here but this uh, actually you can pass you can you can put your hand over here like that some storage over here and then the steering wheel that's the steering wheel over here I'm not sure you can see clearly and then let me just turn on the car so this is a new chime um, for this model year uh, it says yeah depress clutch pedal to start engine because this is a manual if this is an automatic you have to depress the clutch to start the engine so this is a new instrument cluster as you can see the middle one you can press this button info button to change the display is a digital display of course as you can see uh, very very nice very sharp well high resolution and then so here only the middle one is uh digital display the left one over here the um the rpm meter over here is not digital it's analog also this one on the right so the engine temperature and the fuel gauge they are not digital only the middle one is digital and it shows you the your mpg over here and then yeah there's some bad reflection right now and then your uh mileage over there and then the middle of course your speedometer and then your Fuel gauge again and the mileage um, distance to empty your uh, temperature over here and then again if you press it changes it gives you some driving information the direction southwest average mpg so far i only drove for like 54 miles so this is not accurate you have to drive more but average 29.1 not too bad mostly city so actually above the uh, MBG um, by the EPA, but I like this one the best. It's just a very tiny, a tidy looking with a Master 3 hatchback in the middle. Um, so I like it very much. And then here's your volume control, your phone control, uh, your sound. You can change the source and the stations. And then here, this one is the uh, radar cruise control that you can adjust the distance in front of you and your car. This one is the cruise control set. You can increase the speed, lower the speed. This one, again, is just the cruise control. There's two empty buttons here, surprisingly. Maybe for the other market, maybe Canada, they have the heated steering wheel, I believe. But not in the US, sadly. And then, yeah, like I said, this one has three level heated seats for both front passengers but they do not offer uh cooled seats or ventilated seats which is sad because assuming master is a premium brand they at least they're trying to do that but the leather itself is perforated leather you can see the holes over here is genuine for this one very very nice i would say it's very very subtle and very very comfortable it holds you in place 
Um, I like the cushion, super, super nice. The head rats. And this one, of course, the premium package, um, you get the sunroof. Uh, but it's a pretty small one, not a paramedic, um, ceramic sunroof. And then here's your sunroof. When you press this button, it opens up, give you some air. And then, of course, you can close it back. Um, like that and then you can close this of course if you want but if you want more light coming into the cabin yep and then um, this one also of course it has the blind spot monitoring and uh, this is traction control and you actually have two person memory seat so it's a first on a master 3 I believe and then um, yeah, you have all the basic, uh, I mean, not even basic, you have all the safety features you can find in this class. You have the automatic braking, uh, of course, radar cruise control, it has a lane keep assist, uh, and then the active steering wheel. So if you drive out of your lane, it will steer you back into the lane. And then, which is very nice, it has the, of course, the backup camera, but of course, um, yeah. I can show you right now, it's a very, very sharp uh, camera, I would say. Uh, it has distance, um, and then, it, but it doesn't use the whole screen. Yeah, like I said, if you put this in reverse, as you can see, the mirror, it will adjust itself. If you put it back, it will adjust. It's a very, very cool feature that I just found out. And then, um, yeah, all the safety feature it includes in this car. And I heard they also have the, um, you know, it can detect if you don't pay attention to the road or if you're falling asleep, it will detect and warn you. So very, very nice feature. The glove compartment is damped, but not lined with felt. It's a decent size, I would say. Um, the passenger seat is not, it's not electric, only the driver's side. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then there's a sunglass holder over here. And then of course some sunshade, you know, yeah, kind of bright right now. You have the mirror over here with light. And now let's move on to the back seat of the car. So the back seat. So again, very, very solid feeling. Let's hear this again. Yeah, it's very solid. Uh, I'll do that again for the front seat. And then this is what it looks like from the back. Let me turn this off. So, yeah, very, very nice interior. Very, extremely premium, I would say. Um, this is what it looks like again. And just to let you know, this one, it doesn't look like a lot of space because the this seat has been pushed all the way back. So this is not the regular... Um, leg room this is the regular leg room so it has decent room i would say of course less room than like say a honda civic or or the jetta or the corolla but i think it's decent but if you're taller than six feet then it may be a little bit cramped for you i mean um and then here the material surprisingly is uh, still soft touch most cars in this segment you will have a hard touch plastic but again this is a hatchback so as you can see the window is smaller than those in the sedan it's tiny over here and then it has a huge uh, C pillar or D pillar whatever you call this um, so the visibility is not very good I would say but uh, it's adequate I mean it doesn't bother me that much that's why I got the hatch the hatch again is more versatile and then you have the same leather material on the back. Same is genuine leather uh, with this uh, perforated leather. And then of course you have the uh, center armrest. You can pull down with two cup holders. Genuine leather again is red. I like this. The seat fold down 60-40 of course. Um, but the hatchback I believe you have less headroom. Um, but again, I, it's your personal choice. I like this hatchback a little bit more because before I have the sedan and uh, 
like I said, soft touch over here. Genuine leather stitching, aluminum door handle. Same material as the front, but this one actually is half plastic. Only this part over here. This is soft touch leather, more leather over here. And then your black piano black trim, your door handle over here. And you only have one mat pocket over here. This side doesn't have the mat pocket. No rear air vents. I would say it's kind of surprising. And then also, of course, no heated rear seat and no ventilated he uh, rear seat. Uh, your seat belt, just regular black in color. Um, this is what it looks like again. Um, and then let's uh, try to close the front door again. Let's see the sound. Yeah, very, very solid. And then one more thing that I want to show you is the uh, is actually the key itself. I forget to show you. So this is the master key. It's a new key. It looks completely different from the previous generation. Um, it's kind of big now. It's bigger than the previous generation. Um, and then all the buttons, buttons is on the side instead of uh, like on the front. So your lock, unlock, and panic button. Uh, and then uh, I think this uh, tiny switch over here that you can press, but I cannot do it with one hand. That you can open the back plate here to review the um, the physical key, which is inside. Uh, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that, but um, it looks premium. But that this is actually a hard touch plastic. This is a bad thing. I originally I thought this is uh, leather, but it's not. It's just hard touch plastic. But there's chrome over here, and then now I'm gonna show you the door. So the previous gen master three, there's no sensor on the back. It's just a black button over here. But this gen they changed that. It looks more premium now. So you touch here, it will lock the door, and if you touch it again, well actually it will lock it again. But you just put your key in your pocket and then you just put your hand over here then it unlocks the door so they put a sensor on the back finally and then if you touch it again it will lock the door and then yeah again let's look at the outside again for this car it's a very very nice looking car black wheels again only come with the premium hatchback with the black wheels the sedan the base sedan will actually get the 16 inch alloy wheels in silver and the, in the all other trim of the sedan you will get an 18 inch silver finish wheel uh, the hatchback get different kind of wheels um, so again this is the poly metal gray color uh, which is my favorite color in my opinion of this car and uh, I like this a lot I think it looks even better than the machine gray or white or red but what's surprising is that this color actually doesn't cost extra uh, only the gray the machine gray white and red costs extra so but I think it looks perfect in this car it's the perfect color with the perfect interior so again thanks for watching this is my quick review of the exterior and interior oh the engine is actually same carryover 2.5 liter engine naturally aspirated it's uh, pretty large in size 2.5 liter um, about the same horsepower just one more horsepower and two like two more horsepower and one more pound feet of torque is 186 uh, horsepower and 186 pound feet of torque um, actually it's, i think it's kind of adequate I, I know it's not like master speed 3 but but 186 is actually more than the 1.5 turbo in the civic is the in terms of regular engine not the hot hatch type this engine actually is the most powerful in its class so the toyota corolla 2.0 actually has 160 some horsepower and 150 some pound feet of torque so this is the most powerful engine in the class actually um, and for this setup is this car actually looks like a master speed 3 um, if you're not a fan of master or you know to whoever you know this looks like a master speed 3 except you know the engine not actually um, uh, what I mean is adequate but anyway thanks for watching and have a nice day